If we want the best sex, we cannot separate God from sex. That's real talk. Hey teammates! It's me again, Vanessa. And I'm Kenny. And together we are Team Vanny. Okay, now let's get straight to the point. If we want the best sex, we cannot separate God from sex. That's real talk. But take note first, we are not here to condemn or to dictate people. Why? Because we too are imperfect and flawed people. We have no right to condemn or to judge. That's right. But despite the fact that we are imperfect and we have flaws, God still gave us His perfect love and His message of truth. That's why we want to share you guys God's message of love and truth about sex. God loves you so much, He wants to protect you, and He only wants the best for you. Now, going back to sex, part of God's perfect love is His beautiful gift of sex. Yes, sex is a gift meant to be fully enjoyed. But in order to fully enjoy that gift, we must understand God's design for that gift. God designed sex for genuine pleasure. Not just temporary pleasure, but genuine, long-lasting pleasure. And not just physical pleasure, but also emotional, psychological, and spiritual pleasure. So, how do we get that total package? By doing sex according to God's original beautiful design. Sex must be within the commitment of a God-centered marriage. Not just any marriage but a God-centered marriage. Therefore, we do not need to hunt for great sex just for the sake of finding a good marriage. It doesn't work that way. Remember, great sex does not create good marriage. It's the other way around. A good marriage creates great sex. That's right. Because for example, just because he is good in bed doesn't mean he's gonna be a good husband. So let's aim first for a good marriage and the natural result will be great sex. Let's aim for the good tree that bears the good fruit. Men, commitment first before sex, and include God in your commitment. If you're really committed to her, then marry her instead of just living together without the assurance of commitment. Well, we're not saying that you should rush getting married just for the sake of sex. There's always a right timing for everything, including marriage. And we're also not saying that all married couples have great sex just because they're married. The key here is aim for a good marriage. Because first of all, you don't just need a sex partner, but you need the right person who will share with you the beautiful love of God. That right person will know how to honor you because he or she knows how to honor God first. Unfortunately, there have been many people, as in many people, who have been deeply hurt because they have given sex to someone, but later on, the relationship didn't work out. The heartache of breakups becomes worse when you have given your whole self, body and soul, to someone who will eventually leave you. Because having sex creates a bond between you and that person, not just physically, but also emotionally, psychologically, and spiritually. It's like gluing two pieces of paper together that when you later on separate and break up, part of you is torn and hurt. Now, some skeptics would ask, if you guys wait for marriage to have your first sex, won't that be awkward on your wedding night that you didn't have any practice at all or you have not yet tested your body compatibility with each other? No! The answer is no. It's not awkward at all. It's actually fun and exciting to discover sex with your wife for the first time. It's a beautiful first time. For the first time in forever. <laughs> and take note, there are many engaged Christian couples who vowed for chastity and purity until marriage 
but they actually had great sex education in preparation for their wedding night. How? Through attending marriage preparation counselings, seminars, and even studying Christian books that beautifully teach about the practical tips on how to achieve the best sex for the honeymoon. Actually, that was our experience. That's why we're so thankful for our marriage preparation seminar and we're so grateful to our senior pastor who recommended to us a Christian book on sex and we applied the tips on our honeymoon. It was so amazing. So yeah, godly engaged couples do not need to be ignorant or naive of sex. They can actually be well prepared for their honeymoon. Sex is not a taboo in church. But here is a warning. If you're not yet engaged and you're not yet nearing your wedding, please do not read about sex. It will just stimulate you and it will just tempt you. Wrong timing is not good. God designed sex to be super enjoyable within marriage, not outside marriage, not before marriage. Marriage commitment is what makes sex protected and genuinely pleasurable. God loves us so much, that's why He wants to protect us from the dangers of misused and abused sex. God bless you all teammates! Thank you for watching and if you have any comments, any suggestions, or any intriguing questions, feel free to comment down below and we would love to read your comments, suggestions, and your questions. And we might even learn from you as well. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We have more videos to come. Hey, teammates! If we want to have sex,